going on internet, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, wherever you're watching. Hello, my name is Jared James Nichols, and I am live at the Gibson Garage right here in Nashville, Tennessee. Today is a very, very special day. Today is Slash Day. Today is Slash Day. You know what I'm talking about? Check out this guitar. Look at that. I got, I got a few cameras going. This is a very special one. I'm kicking right off into it. No fluff. This is a limited edition guitar that is celebrating a very, very important release, a very important day for Gibson and Slash. We're talking about Slash's record four that just got released on Gibson Records. I'm here to talk about it, talk about Slash, jam some riffs. If anyone has any questions, anything you want to talk about regarding Slash, less calls, anything, let's do it. First off, I want to say big congrats to Gibson and Slash for this epic record. I love it. I've been jamming it, for real. The riffs are awesome. I was just jamming uh, a little bit on the, the Rivers Rising, the single, which is such a cool riff. <laughs> That'll get stuck in your head really easy. But yes, Slash's record is out now for produced by Dave Cobb right here in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm at the home of Gibson. This guitar is super sick. I mean, I don't know if the if you can see it in the live look, I can walk up. It's got a sick, sick flame. It's awesome. We got a lot of lights going. And yes, this is a limited release that is just commemorating the record. There's the Slash insignia, of course. It's sick. Loaded with the Slash buckers. It sounds awesome. It has a really, really comfortable neck. That's what I love about these guitars, the Slash models. The first Les Paul I ever picked up, truth be told, was a Slash model. So for me, it's kind of a nostalgic thing to sit here and chat about this today, which is awesome. But the first thing I'll say about all these Slashes, if you haven't tried one, Go try one because the necks are super comfortable. You know, it's not that 60s slim taper thing. It's not that super, you know, 50s style baseball bat neck. It's just right there in the middle and it feels really, really good in your hands. Whether you're playing rhythm stuff, here's my favorite slash lick. Ready? What's that riff? Anyone know that riff? Come on, answer it. Come on. Sounds awesome. The bridge pickup is super bitey, right? Did anyone answer that yet? Does anyone got it? Come on. Don't leave me hanging. I'm not really looking at the comments at the moment, but the bridge pickup is super bitey and it has all that cut and sustain you want. And then when you flip it up to the net, it's nice and smooth and, and creamy. <laughs> go check it out i swear it's awesome there's it's packed full of killer riffs and really i think it's my favorite slash record to date and and maybe i'm being biased but it's that good the band is like full throttle everything sounds amazing so this guitar limited edition i just want to play it a little bit more for you let me know guys what is your favorite slash riff whether it's slash snake pit slash solo with miles kennedy guns and roses tell me what it is write it in the comments Let's see what you got here. Come on. I want to jam a little bit. All right, who's who's uh, who's got the Mr. Brownstone, right? So we saw that one. Thank you. 
So good, so good. I'm gonna play a bunch of guitars here for this live, but I really recommend you guys check out these Slash models because they're awesome. And even though they're a signature model, I know that some players are gonna be like, Jared, I don't wanna play someone's signature. These things speak to you in their own way and Slash did a killer job making these guitars. Hey, if you're just joining us, welcome. My name is Jared James Nichols. You can see me on Instagram or Facebook or any of that stuff, at Jared James Nichols. We're celebrating the release of Slash's brand new record four out on Gibson Records right now. I'm live at the Gibson Garage in Nashville, Tennessee, shredding for you guys. What's your favorite Slash riff? Come on. <laughs> Back in black. That's not Slash. But one thing that's really, really awesome, and I want to talk a little bit about like Slash's influence all of the cool stylistic stuff that he does, where it came from. I know for a fact, when you listen to Slash's play, he sounds like no one else. He has such a cool tone. And I think that is the mark of an awesome guitar player is having your own sound where if we literally hear one note of any of the guitar greats, whether it's Hendrix, Clapton, Jimmy Page, Jeff Beck, anyone, Dave Mustaine, Zach Watt, whoever, you know who it is by just hearing him play, by the tone, by the sound. And I feel like Slash is right there at the top of that list. So that's something that I think, if you're a guitar player, grab your guitar. I gotta show you some cool stuff here. Get your guitar tuned up. Also, I'm in the Slash tuning. I'm in E flat. And as you know, as well as I do, I think everything's in E flat. And it just has a cool, it has a really cool tone to it. It's nice and dark, it's awesome. Um, yes, tell me your favorite Slash riffs. Now I can see the comments. I'm actually staring, I swear. But it's a special day. Slash's new record's out, so we're here to hang out and talk about it. One of the biggest things about Slash that I love as a guitar player is his use of melodic soloing, okay? Now, this is something that I think we could all use in our playing, right? <laughs> Know what that's from <laughs> slash has such a unique way of putting together a solo and i think that's something that as guitar players we should all strive to do is do that melodic soloing more so for instance let's say you're in e minor pentatonic and you just have a riff and be straight up 14th fret bend it up a whole step on the g string 12th fret on your b to the 15th and just repetition very cool slash has an amazingly wicked vibrato and kind of bending technique so repetition and melodic things in solo. One of the coolest things I love about the way that he plays, especially, is doing kind of like this little teeter off of a major to a minor idea. So check this out. If we're up here on the high E, 17th fret with our ring finger to the 16th fret with our middle finger, you have this. And now all I'm doing is hammering on and pulling off from the 16th to the 17th. <laughs> Using those kind of techniques, I feel like are super, super awesome to basically build solos that are super memorable because Slash is one of those guys, I feel like he has so many cool licks and riffs but he uses them in such a way that it makes you remember the solos. A lot of players, they'll play and they'll blow your mind with their technique or like certain things that they do, but Slash has that way of getting under your skin and really being able to just kind of 
put a solo that lands and you remember it and you can hum along to it. It's super memorable. Now, someone just asked if I'm plugged into pedals. I am not. I am straight from this limited edition, brand new Slash, this killer, killer guitar, straight into the amp. So no pedals whatsoever. I'm just straight in. Yes. Uh, someone said, show us some grunge chords. All right, let me show you some cool chords. This is a great chord. If you don't know it, you need to know it. And also, if you like my teaching, go to ArtistWorks. I have a course on ArtistWorks. You could get in on this. Check out this chord, the Hendrix chord. Slash uses it. Slash was obviously a big fan of Jimi Hendrix, as we all are. So check out this chord. It's an open E, right? Check it out. You're going to take your middle finger, seventh fret on our A string, index finger right here to the sixth fret on our D, your ring finger on the seventh fret of our G, and your pinky goes on the eighth fret of our B string. And it sounds like this. That is a great chord. You hear Slash use that all the time. Now, is it a grunge chord? Not really, but it's an awesome chord to jam. That's like the purple haze chord. I call it the Hendrix chord. That is an awesome chord. Another thing that I really, really am into is stacking power chords and getting more bang for your buck. So take your index finger. Let's say you'll go here. Let's go on the uh, seventh fret across our E and A string. And then on the ninth fret with our ring finger, across the D and G string. And hit all those together. <laughs> yes. If anyone has any questions, yes, come on, send them over. Someone said paranoid. Sabbath, I'm sure Slash loves it. There you go. Okay, now we've seen this guitar. What a beauty. It's killer. We're gonna swap up. Let's try something different. Now, we are live, so I might be in tune, I might be out of tune, but I'm gonna swap it up for this, this lovely lady. Hold on, here we go. All right, check it out. Another slash model. This time, this is the Vermilion verse, I believe, right? Is that right, Paige? Everyone give it up for Paige. Cheer. This is an Epiphone. Guys, I have this tuned to E flat, and I want to play it for you. And I thought it would be really cool to bring some of that slash Epiphones into the mix because if you are paying attention, if you know what I'm talking about, Slash has got a ton of different models, and I have a few of them here to test out and give you guys kind of my two cents and talk about them and play some more rips. So let's see what's up with this model. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Let's see if someone can guess this one. Guess the riff. It was really fun for me to go back and learn some of these riffs and just start messing around with them because it showed me how killer of a guitar player Slash was, is, and how much he's just set this awesome standard for rock and roll. Like the way he plays that. <laughs> slash i just picked it up i tuned it right before we came on and it sounds fantastic let me just jam a little bit on it so you can get a little feel <laughs> is 
super comfy. And I, I really believe that this guitar, it's it's got the same vibe as its Gibson counterpart. It feels awesome. It's got that really, really cool finish on it. Uncovered humbuckers, obviously, per slash on this. It feels really good. It's really alive. It's staying in tune really well, too. When I roll back the volume as well, it has a really, really nice kind of mellow, smooth sound to it. Sounds like, here we go, come on. Wow, that sounds really, really good. I'm hoping that you can hear it kind of translating in the video, but it has a really, really sweet, sweet tone. And truth be told, even for me, when I'm playing, there's a lot of times I'll look up to Slash. Whenever, you know, my signature models, uh, Old Glory and Gold Glory, if you don't know those, check those out. Those are fitted with a bridge pickup only. So they're like kind of like a Les Paul Jr. Les Paul. But with these, and when I play a, a regular standard style Les Paul, there's two people I think of. I think of the Eric Clapton kind of woman tone, right? The um Oh yeah. And then I think of Slash and the way that he would play on that. such a cool cool vibe and if you're just joining us it's slash day i'm jared james nichols you can follow me at jared james nichols live at the gibson garage talking about slash's new record out on gibson records right now it's called four and i'm playing the epiphone version of the slash vermilion this thing's killer i don't know if you just heard me jamming on it but this is straight into the amp it's just very very good. someone said play smoke on the water mm. So, okay, here we go. Now comes the point in the show. Let's talk a little bit more about some of Slash's influences, which is a lot of people are commenting, you know, play this, play that. I saw this one like 10 times. <laughs> Name this riff. <laughs> Who's got that riff? Come on. Name the riff. I've seen you guys. You've wanted me to play it. <laughs> Of course. Whole lot of love. Come on. Okay, let's do a little uh, name that riff. Shoot your riffs over. And if you want one, you want me to play. It. Otherwise, I'll play one. You guys try and guess it. And let's keep it in the line because it's slash day. I can't get off track. I promised myself I would not get off track. Let's only do guitarists that we know were big, big, big influences on Slash and that were really stable influences. All right, what riff is this? <laughs> Who's got the riff? Come on, let me hear it. Let me hear it. Who's got it? I'm looking. There it is. Yes, Funk 49. Of course, of course. 
Joe Walsh. <laughs> Someone says play play Layla. We know Slash loves him some flowers. Let's go to that Slash next thing. to play any more than that come on who's got that riff let's do it come on come on come on who's got it do you feel like we do someone said close not really uh, come on who's got that riff come on there it is of course purple haze i saw someone wrote this one rising of course off slash's new record i started with that one <laughs> all right let me play you one of my other favorite slash riffs who knows this one if you don't know this you might as well just log off because you better know this <laughs> so good. I love that. <laughs> Guys, this is that epiphone you're noting. This thing feels awesome, I swear. <laughs> Yes. Slash day. We're jamming slash. Okay. I have more guitars to show you. And we have more to talk about. So, like I said, Jerry James Nichols here, live at the Gibson Garage, chatting with you all, all about slash, all about his influences. We're playing a little name that riff. I already showed you guys that special edition number four guitar. This is that cool Epi Vermilion. Now we're just going around. Here we go. What's next? Oh, hold on. We got him over here. Oh, baby. Another Epi. Now, I have two signature models with Epi. Gold Glory and Gold Glory. Check those out. This gold looks awesome in person. I'm not sure if you really get the vibe with these ring lights. But this guitar is fantastic. Another Epiphone model of a Slash. And I got to say... Guys, comment below. What is your favorite Slash guitar that he plays? Let's see what everyone likes the most. Is it the Double Neck? Is it one of the new models? Is it, of course, the, the Appetite Burst? Which one is it? What's the one that you guys all love? What is it? Come on. Someone says, I want to see the Black Beauty. I don't have, uh, oh, oh, some bad company. Oh, boy. <laughs> Someone said, 
said Mr. Brownstone, of course I was jamming that. <laughs> this gold top sounds awesome too i'm telling you these epiphones are ripping these slash models check this thing out listen to this <laughs> gold top right this thing is awesome it has such such a great sound and it's really really alive it's it's a great playing guitar really really awesome let's hear what the neck pickup sounds like come on <laughs> Just joining us, I'm Jerry James Nichols. Go listen to Slash's new record, Four, out now on Gibson Records. We're here talking about Slash. We're having fun, jamming some riffs. Uh, yep, knocking on heaven's door. That's the one. That's it. Of course. Oh, yeah. Keep your light on, mama. <laughs> turn my guitar down it's not fun i can turn it down <laughs> let's talk a little bit about the scales the things that slash uses if you're a guitar player watching this and you're watching me going what is he playing let's talk a little bit about the scales about the the kind of notes and the sequences that slash loves to use now from what i hear i hear it's like a, a blues pentatonic mixolydian it's i'm saying a lot of names but it's like this buffet of all of these awesome scales that he's putting them together, right? 
most specifically, let me tune this guitar back up. It's, let's say we're in the key of E, right? E minor pentatonic. You all know that one? Using that E minor pentatonic, right? Starting on the low E string on the 12th fret with our index to the 15th fret. You use your pinky or your ring. Then it's 12, 14 on the A, 12, 14 on the D, 12, 14 on the G, 12, 15 on the B and the high E. Sounds like this. Cool, cool, right? So slash, obviously, minor pentatonic, but you can add one note and make it bluesy, right? Kind of like the blues pentatonic. Now check this out. Do the same scale, but you add one note, adding it on the A string, and you're adding it on the G string. Check this out. 13 to the 14. Same scale, just add that. That is a very, very kind of bluesy, gives you all the flavors of everyone from Joe Walsh and Jimmy Page and all that. Awesome. Yes, AKA Devil's Note, of course. And then check this out. You're going to play major, major scale. I'm gonna say major pentatonic. Now this is kind of cool. Now the way that I would approach it is use your middle finger on the 12th fret of that low E, 14th fret on your low E on the, on the, with my pinky I would use. So what I'm doing there, check this out. I am going to go from the index finger on the 11th fret to the 14th fret on the A, and then the 11th fret to the 14th fret on the D, and then on the G we're going 11 to 13, then sliding up index finger to the 14th fret, I'll use either my middle or my ring. Point that all the way down. So if I'm incorporating those three scales alone, right? Check this out. And then there's a, the seven note scale, the mixolydian, which gives us that minor third. Now I'm getting all, all nerdy on you. But think about using many scales to incorporate into licks and riffs. So check this out. Very cool. And then of course, everyone's talking about it, the harmonic minor scale. Of course, Slash loves the sound of the harmonic. Adding that note gives you that whole kind of flair. It's almost like, I don't know, I'd call it like a classical flair, right? So if you want a kind of a cheat sheet for that, use on your high E string, starting with your index on the 12th fret, go to the 14, 15, walk it back down, 14, 12, and then to the 11th. guitar to show you before I forget hold on here we go here we go all right how's it going good I hope everyone's enjoying themselves this now is a tobacco burst this is another epiphone and the third one this one is gonna sound awesome too let's hear it <laughs> so fitting, right? Guys, what do you think? Which one is your favorite of the ones that I played? What was your favorite guitar? Um, okay, there's a few other things I need to tell you 
before I forget to tell you, go on Instagram and I want you to go to the official Gibson Garage Instagram. It's at, at, at official Gibson Garage. And I want you to go there because they're giving away a amazing, it's what? Mini sign slash, mini sign slash guitars. You know you want one. You know you need one. Go to the official Gibson Garage Instagram right now. Once we get off this live, don't go right now. Go right after the live. Everyone's dropping now. <laughs> but go there and check that out. And if you want to follow me or check out more of what I'm doing, go to at Jared James Nichols. It's been a pleasure hanging out with you guys. This has been awesome. Go listen to Slash's new record for Out Now on Gibson Records. And this has been awesome. Um, I'm just going to shred a little more and let's have some more fun. Let's see what this November rain has got in it. And let's go from there. <laughs>